I've just had the most mind-blowing experience with AI that would have cost me thousands of dollars if I paid for it. So I had to make a video about it as I think any creator who uses this is gonna grow their channels faster and easier. But it's not just about using AI to write a script for you. There's seven things I'm gonna show you that are gonna help you get more views on old videos, new videos, build retention and tell better stories. And it might even put people like me out of a job. But I'm gonna ride this trend to the end, baby. I'm also gonna show you why it won't work too. But first, let's look at this AI trick that could boost old videos that didn't perform that well. So what you can see on screen right now, that jump in views was caused by changing a title on a video. The thing is, trying to come up with a new title for an old video is really tricky because once that video is published, you can't just rewrite your intro. So you can only base your new title on what you've already said. Otherwise, you'll make clickbait and everyone will hate you. Enter the AI. So I wanted a new title for an old video. So I typed in, write me 20 different titles for a YouTube video under 50 characters, make the words dramatic and base it on the following script introduction. And then I just pasted my old script in. And this is what it came up with. 20 titles that were perfect for my video and the intro. What the f- So if you have old videos you always thought could have done better, maybe try this out on a video or two, but don't just blindly trust it. You might not get as lucky as me. Instead, you want to use it as a brainstorming assistant to inspire your choices. Okay, next let's look at a few different ways to skyrocket your productivity using this AI. So a while ago, I read a book called Contagious. It was really flipping good. There was this one story in it though that always stuck out to me and I wanted to talk about it in another video. The thing is, I couldn't find the flipping passage in my book to check I'd not forgotten any of the finer details. So I turned to ChatGPT and asked it to summarize the story from the book and it couldn't do it, but it did seem to know about it. So I asked how the restaurant I wanted to talk about went viral and hey presto, it gave me all the details I needed. But this got me thinking and uncovered the next insanely powerful AI tool. Okay, so let me explain why this is such a game changer before I reveal what you need to type in. So you're a YouTuber and by now you've probably heard people talk about storytelling and how it's a great way to build a community or go viral. The thing is, there are different levels of storytelling. So there's quite literally telling a story for your entire video like Dodford does. And then there's a simpler way of using story and that is to maybe make just one point in your video using it and to make a point that really hits home and makes a viewer not just feel something but believe and trust your information. You need a story that shows your point works rather than just saying it does. So if I was making a video about the importance of never giving up in business, I could say this in my video. Don't give up because with great persistence, you'll make it in the end. But it doesn't really hook the viewer or inspire them and it's just words. Why would people believe this? Instead, what you really want to do is tell a quick story about someone who your viewers admire, who has achieved something they respect by overcoming an obstacle they can relate to. Enter the problem. Where do I get one of those from? Well, you've got a few options. First, you tell a story of how you did that yourself, but if you don't have one, rule that out. Second, you make up a fictional one, but these can sometimes feel a little bit cheesy. Or third, you tell someone else's story. Enter the AI, your new best friend and story hunter. It's gonna make your content so much more engaging. So our test video here is about building a business, and the first point we want to make is don't quit. So I asked the AI to find me a true story that proves the power of never quitting in business, and boom! It spits out the story of Walt Disney and his struggles to make it. So next time you think about trying to make a point in a video, try this first to see if you can make it with a story. Which brings me on to a big problem. Your mind's probably now spinning, because you suddenly got this fantastic idea, but you really don't know how to write a story. It's maybe your first time. So to solve this, all you do is type into chat GPT. You're an Oscar winning writer. Teach me how to write a short story about the early life of Walt Disney's business failure. And it'll teach you what to do in steps. And that means we can start to use the next epic time saver. So as you can see, its first instruction to me was do more research, which is 100% right. So you hit up Wikipedia and you see that gigantic wall of text about Disney and suddenly all of the excitement is sucked out of you when you realize this is gonna be a lot of work. Well, it used to be because now you just copy and paste a big chunk of Wikipedia and say summarize the key points from this text about Disney's business. And now you are given all of the key points relevant to your story. My job is so doomed. Subscribe to try and save me. Save me. Save me. Now let's look at some more quickfire AI hacks before we move on to some time-saving beasts. So creative writing is called creative writing for a reason. It should be creative. And one simple way to achieve that is to use more descriptive words in your video. So let me show you the power of this by presenting the same line written in two different ways. Okay, so the first way, the boring way. Disney leaves temporarily to work at the Kansas City Film Ad Company and eventually Ajax joins him. There's nothing wrong with that, but how do you feel when I present the same line like this? With his business floundering, Disney bid farewell to his entrepreneurial endeavors 
temporarily seeking solace at the Kansas City Film Ad Company. But like a loyal companion, Iwerks soon followed in his footsteps and joined the ranks of the company. The second one was just so much more interesting, right? It had some stakes to it, it had a simile, and what makes it even more interesting is, I didn't write it, I wrote the boring line, and then put it into ChatGPT and said, rewrite this using more creative words, and it did. But we hit a problem here. Entrepreneurial endeavors temporarily seeking solace. I mean, a quick look at my outtakes will show you what's wrong with this. Disney bid farewell to his entre- Disney bid farewell to his entrepreneur. Disney bid farewell to his entrepreneurial endeavors. It's a bit too wordy, but also that sentence would work well in the Financial Times, but if your viewers aren't 50 year old academics, it might make them feel stupid. And that's a bad thing. But it don't matter because we just say rewrite that for a reading age of 10, and it does. Look, I don't want to get into a debate about this, but it's just worth considering most YouTube videos are more tabloid than broadsheet, and the reading age of tabloids is around 10 to 8, so no one feels left out. Alright, the next tab, which many YouTubers want to use because it solves one of the biggest retention crimes going waffle. And all you do to harness it is when you've written your script, or even just a line or paragraph, is say, rewrite this with less words. And it helps shorten your script so you can say the same thing but faster and more efficiently. But don't just blindly trust it, read it back to make sure it's actually a better version. So let's move on to why AI might not work for you and could be pretty flipping useless. So I am of an age where I went to school and we didn't have computers and one day they just turned up and everyone was like, what the heck are these things? And because we'd never even turn one on, we had to have lessons that literally told us how to turn a computer on, which is crazy. But before we even touched one, we all got taught one lesson. A computer is a Tom. A totally obedient moron. Basically, the first lesson we had to learn was if the computer doesn't do what you want it to, you probably gave it the wrong command. It's your fault. And although things have moved on a lot, we still see that issue with software today. And this AI is no different. It's a totally obedient moron on steroids. Now for me, it's like, wow, wow. This is a complete godsend because I knew that I needed to find a story to make a point and that I needed titles under 50 characters and that short and more creative writing was what worked great in a script. In short, I kind of know what to ask it. But if you're new to YouTube or less experienced, you don't really know what questions to ask to get the best benefit. And a lot of people will probably type in the things that give them exactly what they wanted, which was never really that great in the first place. So what do you do? Well, this is where the AI won't help, because you still need to keep learning about YouTube and story and editing and thumbnails and titles, so that you can then work out the right things to ask it based on your experience, and then you'll improve. Or if you can't be bothered, and you'd rather just someone told you what to type in, like I did in this video, then I'll be updated my email list every time I find new AI hacks. But really, you do need to keep leveling up, and to do that, you need to watch this video next because it's gonna make sure you're not making the mistakes that stop YouTubers getting traction and even AI can't save. And ironically, I stole the whole idea from the Matrix. I'm stealing from the robots now. <laughs>